Right, hey, and we are back with Christoph. And the year is 1999. Christoph has awoken inside a uh, facility known as the Society of Leopold. And he is rather pissed off, as one would be. He has woken up a little bit grumpy. So, we are looking around trying to find Aneska, Willem, <gasps> and uh, anyone else that we be abyss with me. Who's that? Shanky goodness. Out of his depth. What that is. Very bright, whatever it is. Flashlight. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be able to carry too much, am I? Flashlight. Revolver. 65 bashing damage. Hmm. Okay, well. None of your concern. Ha! You feel your life oozing away? Uh, no. Do you feel your life oozing away? <gasps> yes, so apparently uh, Theft of Vitae now kills mortals. It's these mortals. Fire like wind button. Back off, sucker. I'm sending you to hell. You first, sir. Hmm. What have we got in here? Ooh, barrels. I know barrels. Me with them. So my friends here? I'm sending you straight to hell. Ah, oh, just die already. <laughs> nope, these are empty coffins. Who's that? Ah, oh, dear. God, <laughs> Chunky chunk, chunks, chunks of people do not come between me and an Esca. <clears throat> what is that? A blade of some sort? Whatever it is, I can't carry it. So I'm going to find the others in here. Serena and Willem, an Esca. Journal entry October 1999. We've been driven off the dig. Damn Zamitsi. 
We've lost half our forces. Back to England to regroup. Still, Dr. Alatius is oddly optimistic. He reckons that the ancient vampire we found will be the key to carrying on a holy crusade. I want to douse the undead wretch with petrol and strike a match to it. But the doctor knows best. He wanted to burn me, did he? Who's that? Ah, who's that? Ah. All right, who's in the way? Get a hold of some damn. Ah. They'll burn like tinder. I'm sending you to hell. Ah. First. of rings. Spirit Stitch. From the Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. Joy! My research has paid off! The fools who laughed at me won't be laughing now! Won't the leaders of the Society of Leopold be chastened to learn that I have uncovered the location of Viserad Castle? So they knew of Viserad Castle, huh? Pesky humans.
The statue is familiar. Oh, there are things in there. I just couldn't see it. I wonder if I've been leaving stuff behind. Zai! Who art thou? Dead meat. Oh, come on, hit him! I'm sending you to hell! Visserod Castle, from an unknown source, probably kindred. The Tsimitsi conspire against not just the other clans, but against the Antediluvians and Cain himself, and against God in an ultimate battle they dare to hope to win. In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Canaanites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. They did indeed. Someone. Oops. I can't. Sit down. No good like Tiki. You'll be a fist with me. He's shooting at me. Sarad Castle, additions to the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Ukudlak's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. But the Bruja Prometheans, led by Ekaterina the Wise, crushed his plan and raised Visserod Castle to rubble. Ekaterina conspired with the mortals of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Ukudlak's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term, but in the long run, the kindred suffered. Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. Ha. Huh. To the abyss with thee!
Ow. For a single item. Okay, entry one, entry three, entry two. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacius, Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Visserard Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries, fully expecting to find a hive of Zemitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted. Deserted and utterly intact. intact. This, despite the fact that several of Vukadluk's faithful followers survived the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. So, it's possible that Aneska survived. And Lubusa, and uh, managed to uh, carry that coffin away with Vut. I can't even say his name. Vudo Vudok Lak, uh, his body, sleeping form. Uh, and it's quite possible that Willem and Serena survived as well. Then I didn't because that column fell on me. Well, I survived, but not conscious. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Visserard Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and lore. This is costing me a fortune. Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. Okay, there's a lot of people down here. Oh. Wow. Burn my 
Bernie.
Mm. Come back here. I can't reach you. Flashlight. I don't think I need a flashlight. I'd much rather have a bracelet that I can sell. Okay, let's get out of here, shall we? Here's the way out. Good luck with that. Who's that? Bernie, Bernie. I'm not losing away. To the abyss with thee. I can't wait to get a hold of some damn kids. Ah! Now burn like you. To the abyss with thee. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okay, can't even carry that now. So, holy stop, David. Entry three, entry five. Do I have an entry four? Who's that? Can't take those, can I? Just die already. You too.
Hello there. You might you. Hello, filthy little kindred. <laughs> I am Father Leo Alasius. Ah. And I have killed blood suckers like you for two hundred years. Two hundred years? I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. What? Early generation kindred. Vintage 12th century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place. But I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one. You are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. Oh. <coughs> ah. Come on, old man. Is he a ghoul of some sort? Let's be good. The abyss on, with me. Uh, feeding on oh. blood of kindred. Oh. To the abyss with me. What a hypocrite. You can die, hypocrite. Yeah, just put it down. No entry four. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacius, Society of Leopold. God has blessed me with my greatest prize. An ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mark all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. <laughs> I've shipped him to my estate, where I'll bind him and fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi, who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine! I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabbat. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Okay, so there is a Mitzi in London and New York. And some bats have their home in New York. So that's where we're going to need to go. From the journal of Father Leo Alicius, Society of Leopold. These damned Zamitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukodlak. Then, with the blood of Vukodlak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. <laughs> of course, I don't mean all. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the Earth! Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. Wow. Okay, so some good news. Uh, Vukdelak is still asleep. No word on any of my followers, though. Where's Willem? Where's Serena? Find the source of the shipments. Nothing else here, is 
cosa. What's that? Compound bow. No, thank you. around the doorway. I trust you have that much intelligence, Christoph. Maybe not. thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches, which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. Quite possibly. I put my sword away, so... My garments have moldered away with age, as my body would have, were I not one of the damned. I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Boy, you need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need a hand over your wallet. I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me your money. I shall give thee my blade instead. Yeah! Are you crazy? <laughs> Ow! Uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, take my gym bag, please. You, you need clothes, right? I got clothes, so you take them. Just don't hurt me. I thank thee for this gift. Go forth and steal no more. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gone. Go home and rethink your life. sell my goods. Excuse me, kind sir. Do you know where the local smithy is? Or alchemist shop? Ah. Is that a shop? Curio shop. I'm after. Hello, good sir. Aren't that the shopkeep? Hail and well met, keeper of the curio shop. I am Christoph. Well, well, well. What have we here? Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. Sumner Let us sell some goodies. I think these are all just basic jewelry. You don't want 
those. Oh, we've got all these things here. Do you want to scroll? Let's go scroll. Hmm. I've been carrying this damn thing around, but I don't know if I'm going to ever find a use for it. Sells Vitae. Okay. Interesting. A pleasure serving you, Christoph. Good day. Do come back when you have more trinkets. Or more cash. I shall. Now I have two bracelets. I like the idea of having two bracelets. And now I can get rid of this sword. Maybe. Yeah, so I put these in a row. With all my ducks in a row, I might be able to place my sword. Club. Can't even read that. I think it's supposed to be English. Actually, if I don't look at the neon, if I look at it underneath the neon, I can see Tenebrae. I can read that. Or I could just look to the door. Ah. Uh, Shall we take Christoph clubbing? <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Join me next time and we shall go have a look around the streets of London. See what we can see. Yes, it's all a bit disorientating. Anyway, hope you'll join me then.